Hey guys, thanks for joining me again for another episode of my YouTube channel, Long Live the Brains. Now even though it's no longer Parkinson's Disease Awareness Month, I started a series last week looking at the effect of diet on Parkinson's disease. And this was uh, prompted by a comment by Becca Ford, and um, it's a good example of how people's questions and comments are meant to guide these videos. So I would encourage you to post comments and questions, um, and I'll address them as I can. So, last week, I started off the Diet and Parkinson's Disease series by talking about one of my favorite beverages, and that's coffee. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little story. I started drinking coffee when I was a child, and I know that there are lots of uh, rumors out there about how drinking coffee as a child you know, stunts your growth or a bunch of other things. Well, I didn't care. I wanted to drink coffee. All the adults that I saw were drinking coffee, and it looked like the cool thing to do. So I started um, drinking coffee. Now, full disclosure, that coffee was prepared by my mother um, and other family members. But what they would do is put a little bit of coffee in the coffee mug and then fill the rest up with milk. And obviously there was a lot of sugar too. But today I'm going to talk about milk and what we know about its effect on the risk of developing Parkinson's disease. And there's actually several studies that have looked at this, and most recently um, a study came out in 2017. It was published in the journal Neurology, which is a good journal. And the researchers looked at uh, a, a bunch of people and uh, quantified their dairy consumption. They looked at you know, whether they were consuming high-fat milk or low-fat milk or skim milk and then they stratified their risk of developing Parkinson's disease. And what they found that overall, dairy consumption was associated with an increased risk of developing Parkinson's disease. But when they broke it down, it was actually the skim milk and the low fat milk that really seemed to tip the scales in the balance of uh, developing Parkinson's disease. So low fat and skim tended to be more associated with developing Parkinson's disease than like the high fat milk. So why is that? Well. Um, we don't know exactly, but if you think about everything that's in milk, um, you know, when you're buying it on the shelf, we're looking at the fat content. So a whole milk's got the most, and then you go down to say 2%, and then down to 1%, and then down to skim, uh, skim milk. So high fat to low fat. Now, when you have higher fat, it's thought that you have a lower amount of milk proteins, like casein. Um, for example. Now why does that matter? Well, there is a growing body of evidence that suggests that uric acid or urate, um, you might recognize that from conditions like gout when you have it, um, when there's elevated uric acid levels, it can cause you to have like painful joints. Um, but um, there's evidence that those milk proteins in higher um, concentrations can actually um, uh, get rid of or um, push urate, uric acid, out of your system. And it appears that low uric acid is a risk factor for development of Parkinson's disease. Okay, so that was quite a few relationships. So let me break it down one more time and summarize. So high milk fat means low milk protein. Low milk fat means high milk protein. High milk protein means low uric acid, and that appears to be a risk for Parkinson's disease. So this is a theory. Um, you know, we do have evidence that uh, low fat dairy products do seem to increase your risk of developing Parkinson's disease, but exactly why that is and how we could exploit that in terms of uh, treatment and disease prevention, we don't know 100% yet, but um, it's interesting nonetheless. Now. I don't think that this is a enough evidence to just go out and start recommending, you know, don't drink skim milk because it causes Parkinson's disease, but the data suggests that there is an increased risk of developing Parkinson's disease with low-fat milk. 